Good night, guys. Can everybody hear me? Okay, so let's get to it. It's a little bit late. We're going to be doing at this time our stream until the the football season's over. So everybody can enjoy, enjoy the Sunday night football and still get a uh, participate of our prep. So let's start with the futures. ES is gapping down 16 points. It went a little bit lower earlier, but it, it hold this 29.86 10 pivot right here. And it's trying to bounce. So we're, we're going to find some problems with right here at this top of the zone where, where it is right now. It really needs to break above this 290. Let me move this so I can read better. Uh, the 290, 90, 83 to 90, 285 needs to break and hold. And then uh, the next trouble is going to be the main weekly pivot, which is right there. So let's go back to what happened end of the week. Uh, we pushed through here, couldn't hold the 3016 pivot, came back down, back test the support, uh, and went back up. Tried to hold again, couldn't do it. Then it pushed through, but it formed this reversal candle here, and, and it couldn't hold the pivot at 3016.82. So once it broke below of this candle here and the pivot, we had this strong push down back to the 3,005 level uh, we we talked about on the on the room. Uh, today we gap down below it, bounce from here, and now we we are going. We're trying to push back, so we came here. Now we're trying to test here. What's gonna happen if we can't hold the bottom 29.83? If, if we can hold it, then we're going to most likely retest this weekly pivot at 20, about 29.97. If we can't hold the back test, most likely we're going to retest the bottom of this zone, 29.86. And if we can hold it, so the, the, the case scenario, let's do exactly what we did here. If we can't hold this, then I'm gonna retest this. And then if we can't hold the next uh, level I have on the time, high time frames is 29.76. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow what happens there. Intraday, I need to update. I'm gonna need to this. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, I can. That's great. I forgot. I couldn't. I forgot to update that. Okay, so this is what's happening right now. Oops. Come back. This is what's happening right now, right? We are back testing that top, the top of that zone. Right above, we have intraday speed bump at 93.66. Let me change. So we have the numbers. Gonna have to be more. Yeah, so 29.93.67. So it's exactly what I uh, we talk about. We test, back test, he push. Now we need to break and hold above it. 
if we could do it, then we go to the pivot, which is 2997.50. So it needs to push, hold back test, and then we test that level. Uh, which is gonna be interesting to see if it's gonna happen overnight or they're gonna wait to happen um, in the morning. Now let's check natural gas. Oh, natural gas gapped up a bunch, but sold back down. Yeah, we really, really wanted to see see holding the above this pivot here. We have a zone. Let me see if I marked before. No. So this is the zone right here. Uh, in in theory, in theory, we're still okay if we stay above this two point six twenty seven. But ideally, I would prefer to hold the, this other one here, 2.646. Let's see what we can find out intraday. So it's trading right inside the zone. Reject this pivot here, uh, 2.681, 2.69 zone here. Rejected, came back down, trying to recover. So we need to push, oops, wrong tool. So we need to push and reject here, push, hold, back test, and then try again this zone here. Right above it, we have a monthly pivot at 2.703 uh, and a previous quarter pivot at 2.717. So we are getting a little bit overextended on natural gas, but the good thing is that we had that pullback here, which kind of reset it a little bit. So we may have another push if we can hold above this pivot that we talked about before. Uh, once we break above, above this zone here, What do we have? Let's see. Let's see if there is anything in between. Yes, we have some stuff in between. So let, let's mark that. We have a zone right here and this one here. So that's gonna form a little zone that we're gonna expect some reaction to it. And we have this one right here as well. Um, let me remove this. I wanna borrow this color just so we know what we're dealing with without having to go back and check on the left. So those are gonna be the key zones. We're gonna expect natural gas to trade off of. So after we break above this 2.703, 2.717, we had this very tiny zone here, but and none of the less strong zone, which is 2.733, 2.742, and above we're gonna have this 2.66. Uh, let's check, uh, let's check oil. Oh my goodness. 
Look at that gap up. And look where it sold off. Right off our pivot zone. Couldn't do it. Oh, don't need to draw this again. Just extend this one here. Boom, right there. So, that's a strong sell off. So you get up on that news of the, of the oil stuff that they had problems and they're trying, they were trying to, to look like it was going to be easy to, to recover everything, but we already got news today that only one third maybe is going to be recovered by the beginning of this week. So that means that inventory is going to be less and the demand is going to be there still. So the price increases and that's what caused this huge gap up. Uh, but it couldn't hold. So what we can expect here. Let's grab this color, which you're going to mark right here. And let's see if we can hold that. Uh, let's see if there is anything. This one is maybe interesting as well to form a little zone for us to play. So it's trying to bounce. I mean, bounced already, but let's see if it's going to hold right there. And this is going to be key resistance. So you can say that this is going to be key support and this is going to be the key resistance. Now let's check intraday. And we can call this last line of defense right here. 5814, 5847, 58, 59 zone. So this is gonna be last line of defense. Key support, key resistance. We can even stretch a little bit if you want to include this, uh, this weekly pivot at 1662. If we break above it, then we have uh, this in intraday speed bump, which, as you can see, prove it proved that is is going to be relevant. Could it try to go, couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Then it push through, couldn't hold, push through, couldn't hold, push through, couldn't hold. So although it's an intraday pivot, it's still going to be a relevant pivot. So keep an eye on 61.18 if we can break and hold above this. Uh, so usually when we push for and can hold a key zone, this is going to be strong resistance. So what we could see, let's draw what happened here. I know it's, this is higher, but don't need to draw. We came here and we came back down, test this. Now, what we're gonna happen is gonna be test. And if it doesn't hold, then we're gonna go back down, retest that last line of defense. If it holds, then it really needs to break to 61.18. And if it breaks, we're gonna retest 62.03, 62.48. And the key, the key resistance at 6304, 6365. Now let's check gold. Okay, so. 
this was Sunday. It couldn't hold, so this was it. This didn't happen. Couldn't break and hold above the zone. So we just went back down. Went back down, we test this zone, the left side of defense. Remember, we have a zone on top of zone. We decided to separate and put this one as a last line of defense. Bounce right from there. Traded inside this one push, couldn't break above this one. Came back down, retest. This is kind of almost kind of the, the same scenario as oil right now. The push through can't hold, came back down, retest this, and then push back down. So we'll see what's going to happen. Right? It, it gapped up. And so now we need to hold. I didn't hold above this 15, 12, 50. And this is gonna be the key resistance still. It's to break and hold above that. It couldn't do it twice already. So that can be a sign that it's not gonna hold. Uh, if we can't hold 15, 12, then we're gonna retest this pivot here again around 15 or 670, which we can get exactly number intraday for you. Yeah, so this is going to be a very strong support. If it comes here, it really needs to hold. On top of that uh, high time frame zone, we have the main day pivot, which is 1501.80. So this must hold. It has to hold here. Otherwise, we may just let down. So see how we're trying to bounce. We need to hold above this 1512.50. Viewer is trading below view app, so we'll see if you can do that. Again, if we can't, we're gonna most likely retest this 150670, and then the last line of defense is gonna be down here. And now let's check uh, some stocks. So with this gap down in the futures, it's gonna be an interesting interesting monday most things are going to be gapping down uh, shop i was already bearish on shop uh, let's see with this gap down we may gap together because it has been selling a little bit so this was the key support, remember here? We broke that key support and look at that sell off. Bounce off this pivot, couldn't uh, retest this one, couldn't hold, and then we back down. From here, we push, trust it again, couldn't hold one more, two times, and then push back down. So I really think this time we may go lower and it may look like it's, uh, of course you're gonna go lower, we're getting down the market situation, but uh, the pattern, it, looks, it really looked like it was gonna go more this time around. Uh, let's see, where are you gonna get down to? We know that this 338, 333.89 is going to be important on Monday. You see how it was how it was bearish already? It was trading. It's, it's trading below this key zone here, 342.12, 343.35, and it was trading below the day main zone for Monday, which is right above it. So it was already. I apologize, kind of tired a little bit. It was already very, it was already bearish. The only thing I don't like is that with this gap down, we're gonna lose this great setup right here, which short on this push. With the gap down, it may not push there. Let's see, so five bucks from here to here. You can say this is gonna be the key support 
at 329.32, And I want to see if we're going to gap up on this 333.89. Are we going to gap up below it or we're going to gap a little bit above it? If we gap above it and hold, then we're probably going to be test first this 338.94, which uh, we should be watching for a, a short setup and see if we can get it to down over here. Um, if we can't get a short setup here, we're going to watch for a short setup over here, which is more interesting than this one. Although, if we push to here and we, we don't break and have that short setup, it's going to be a clear lower high on the higher time frame, which is going to be very interesting for a, a very nice leg down on this. And our first target will be right here, 329. So it's about $10 a drop. And uh, if we break it at first, uh, the, after that, we're going to have a 324. Uh, the next target will be 320. And if we break the 320, it's going to be the 314.65. If we can manage to break and hold above this, the target is going to be 351.58, 352.47. Let's check Roku. Okay, so we're quiz back to the early pivot. Let's see. Do we have a downtrend? That's the question. Uh, so we're going to be watching this 347.37. Most likely is going to be the what is going to decide uh, in terms of what direction we're going to take. It's going to be almost like that CMG setup we talked about that it was trading on the yearly pivot, and we talked about like watch this level every time it, it can't hold it, we can try to short it and. I'll show you after this what happens CMG on that case. So our key resistance, because we're going to gap down, right? Uh, supposedly, if we don't close that gap overnight. So gapping down, this is going to be the key resistance, which I'm actually, I think I'm going to make it a little bit higher. Let's activate. Let's put it over here. Um, let me see this, and I'm gonna mark it. There, you, uh, come on. Oh, wrong. Okay. So the key resistance is gonna be one forty-seven thirty-seven, one forty-seven seventy-eight. If we get below the day day main main pivot, uh, pivot zone, which is 146.44, 146.58, then this is going to be the first resistance, first key resistance. So for uh, any pops, we're going to watch for a short setup over here, and what we are looking for would be a retest of this 141.50. And if we can hold that, we are looking to get that 137.94. Now, if we break and hold this, target is gonna be 153.57, 154.54. 
We have a few speed bumps, bumps on the way uh, around this 150 level, but on a high time frame, that, that one will be our target. Let's check uh, AMD. So I'm kind of bearish on AMD. The problem is that right now with all these things gapping down, it's probably gonna kind of throw, you know, throw, um, it's not gonna be exactly the best setups because everything's already gapping down. Everything already kind of did what it had to. We're just gonna have to see if we're gonna have any continuation, which means either a pop and, and go back down or uh, a sell off and a back test from key levels. So this is the key support. Below that we have right here. So if market was not gapping down, I'll be expecting AMD to do like this, test this, and if we can't hold test here, uh, we will see if it had a strength to hold here to push something like this, or it couldn't hold, then do something like this, and then see from here, is it gonna hold, if not, same thing, rinse and repeat, testing and test this zone here. So we'll see tomorrow what we're gonna, what the market is gonna do. Intraday. Yeah, that was, in, that's interesting. So we were trading above Monday's daily pivot. So in theory, if the market was not gapping down, this would be the bounce area right here. So gap down, test, and then go back up. So we'll see where we're gonna gap down to. Are we gonna gap down below this? Or uh, are we gonna gap down right at it and then consolidate and push through? If we gap down below, this is gonna be the last line of defense, like we talked about, which is 3011, 3011, 3017. Uh, on above, if we can break this study 85, then we're gonna have this 3105, 3134, 3140, and um, this is gonna be the rough one right here, 3155, and you can include the 50 uh, daily moving average as a zone, which is 3168. So you can create a little zone with the, with the daily moving average, the 50 daily moving average, which is right here. I don't want that color though. That's fine. Let me put Roku here so I can steal the colors. Okay, this one. 3168, right there. So we can say this is gonna be a strong zone right there. So that will be AMG. Let's check Fran, F-R-A-N. All right, so friend really needs to hold above 
these two pivots here, which is going to be our zone. I'll mark it intraday so it's clearer. It's just really like to play those pivots. It play really well. A push couldn't hold, then we test this pivot zone here and push couldn't hold, and now we're testing this pivot zone here. So we could say 17 or 6. Yeah, we can say this is the key support. We also have the daily zone there, 1691, 1768, key support. Key resistance is going to be 1889, 1949. Uh, break above it, we're going to have the 2076. Then we have a big jump to the 22s. So 2263, 2315, 2355. Well, is there anything on this side? Let's check real quick. This has been trading since 2017. Just want to look. Oh, there's a gap to close. Look at that. Let's mark that with that gray color. Gap close, and there's another gap close right here. Actually, let's just mark the pivot. We have a pivot here. So I'm going to mark that. Need a purple, purple color. Let's mark here. Oops, here. Let's mark here. And I need a blue and I need a brown. Blue and oh, didn't change color. Oh. Let's do it again, real quick, guys. Let's do it really quick. Save. It's not saving. That's funny. Zoom always creating problems for me. Okay. If it doesn't save now, I'll just let it go. Okay. Yeah, it's toying with me. This is annoying. I'll change those colors later. So, um, let me go back to the four hour. We're going to have, if you can hold here, we're going to push. We're going to have this 2174 uh, forming a zone with this pivot and this upper previous pivot. And if we break and hold above that, we're going to test at 25, the mark, which is going to be a big number. And then 27, 77, 28, 81. If we can't hold, we're most likely going to test this level here. Let's see. Yeah. There's a... Uh, 16, 16, 17, and 14 or 8, 15, 54, and 15, 15. Mm, let's check a Tesla. OK, 
Come on, we'll do good stuff. Okay. I don't think you load all my lines. Okay. I still have the lines I marked manually. Let me try to change. Okay, I changed my internet. Let's see if it goes this time. All right, let me get out of this and go back. Come on, people are waiting. All right. Got a little crazy for a moment. Okay, let's do Tesla. So Tesla, we have, try to grab it again. It's not letting me click. Gotta love Zoom sometimes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so did I had a pivot there before? I don't think so. Yeah, I did from here. No, it's not there right now. Is it 245? 246? Yeah, I think, I guess I had it. Well, Okay, so we had this 246, 42 that it just broke below it. You see here, this is what uh, we were talking about was this zone here when it was approaching to take a short uh, right there and came back down. Now it went below this 246, 42. So most likely it's gonna retest this lower zone here and it needs to hold, otherwise we're definitely gonna retest this 238 again. So, let me check one thing here. Yeah, so this is going to be a key resistance here at 246, 246.42. And um, if we can't hold it, we're going to retest this 242, 242.55, 243.08, a break and hold, uh, most likely retesting that 248.45. Ultimate goal is 253.81 to 55.77. So.
So let's mark key support right here. And key resistance is right here. Let's check waste management. Uh, broke below the yearly. Broke below the still twelve thirty two. We have one right here. So this is a zone. This is on right here, it needs to hold. It is not looking so awesome right now. The last line of defense is going to be. We get a purple. Can I have a purple? Grabbing a purple to mark this level here. which is going to form the last line of defense from here to here. Now let's check intraday. So well, with this gap down, probably most likely we're going to gap below this. So this is going to be key resistance, but, and this is going to be key support. The key support is at 109.49, 110.09, and the key resistance is at 111.62, 112.32. You could even add this daily zone, a main, main pivot there, which is 112.70. So of now is looking a little bearish, uh, expecting to close this gap here, which is also the bottom of this zone. Right here. Let's check target. Yeah, target was looking a little bit bearish as well. The support zone is gonna be here. And here. So that's going to be our key support zone. Breaking below that, uh, we have over here, we have this base in here. So let's uh, mark that level as well right here my gosh and uh that will probably going to be our last line of defense in case this breaks and if it doesn't hold, most likely we're going to retest this yearly pivot again at 102.45. So first, uh, first idea is a, a hold of this level here to, for a retest of uh, 108.37. Uh, but if it doesn't hold, most likely we're going to retest this last line of defense first uh, 
mark. I'm just marking all the levels. So we have them right there. See that? <laughs> oh my. It was a nice short right there. Okay, so let's check it out. Yeah, we were test we were uh, trading below the daily zone too. So we're trading below the daily the daily main zone, the weekly main zone. So most likely we are going to we are going to test these lows over here, even if if the market didn't gap down. So that's what we're looking for right here, first target. And if we break below that, we're going to be looking at this, those one one oh fours for a hold of support. Uh, let's check BLDP. If we break above this, the next is going to be 109, 110, 109, 89, 110, 17. Now let's check BLDP. So we broke above the yearly, yearly pivot. trying to grab it here. Easier one. Right here. Oops, wrong. I'm gonna mark this 546. Right there. That's gonna be our key support. Now let's check what's up five years ago. Ah, look at that. Boom, right there. So let's mark this pivot. Oh, not that color though. Mm, come on, Roku. I know you like to borrow your pivot colors. Let's mark this one. Let's mark this one, it's very important. And I want to mark that middle one as well. Mark this one. Four hours. So we need to hold that Monday. Uh, if you're long this uh, going into the weekend and make sure you, you wake up early in the morning to watch uh, this trade. If we gap up and start pushing to this zone here, most likely we wanna take some off. It starts at 563, then you have 575 and 588. And watch for the break under and can't reclaim of 546. If that happens, there's a high chance we're gonna test this 523. And if that doesn't have the hold, then five, the 5507. We also have our support of the daily pivot so we can widen up a little bit, not too much. Have to be careful because once we break below the yearly, it, it can act as a strong resistance. So if we come back down and retest here, and you decide to go long here, make sure you take a partial when we we get to that pivot, just in case we reject and then do something like this. And you don't wanna hold your bag. You can leave your stop loss. Uh, if you took a partial, just leave it a break even. And if you if you don't take up, if you didn't take a partial, 
most likely want to leave your stop loss at this 537, 538 level. Probably like 537 is better. Uh, if we can break and hold, I mean, yeah, retest and hold, then uh, the next target is going to be 563. This one right here. And then we have this 574, 578, and the 584, 588. Breaking above that, we have 605, 615, and then the 629, which is also our next yearly pivot. So let's mark that. Just in case we get there, 629. Better be overly prepared than get caught with your pants down. Right there, 629. So this is gonna be a strong area of resistance. If we get there, make sure to take uh, more profit or move your stop loss. You can always move it a little bit. Instead of taking partials, just move it up uh so if we can't hold here we go 523 which is going to be our last line of defense you can even have this 518 so 518 523 is going to be last line of defense and below that then it's going to be the five so five is going to be also a very strong uh, level Let's check TIF. That is a very strong run. But it's right at the yearly main pivot, which is the big orange. AMRN has it right there. Look where it bounced. Big orange, save, let's mark it, 698.40, see if I can, 98.40. There you go. So that's our strongest pivot on the board. Friday, we pushed above it, but couldn't close above it. It had this zone between the orange and the, what is that level? Around 98.75. It couldn't hold the test under. So it really needs to break and hold for more. If we can't break, it most likely gonna dip. The key support is gonna be 98.11, 98.15. Key resistance we know is that one. Uh, and below that, last line of defense is gonna be 96.59. Now, if we break above, if we hold this key zone right here, we can actually mark this entire, instead of calling a key, let's just call it a key zone. Below is bearish, above is bullish. Uh, so above this, we have 99.20, 99, and the $100 mark, which is always very important. We have this pivot here, 99.35 as well. Which is gonna add an extra layer of uh, resistance in case it goes there, right here. 99.35. So that's our key resistance right there. Let's mark. 99.04, 99.35. So key support, key resistance. 
And last line of defense, right there at 96.59. Now let's check NVS. So we back test this pivot and couldn't hold, couldn't break, and now we're back down. It's definitely on a bearish note. Key resistance is gonna be here. Eighty-seven fifty-three. Eighty-seven, sixty-four, eighty-seven, sixty, seventy-six, eighty-seven, ninety, seven, ninety-four. So you have one, two, three, four, five strong pivots at that zone. Uh, and key support was going to be here, but it's probably going to gap down. So most likely going to be our first key resistance. And the last line of defense is 86.63. See if we can find anything else. It's here. Okay, so that's an Ovartis. If you manage to break above that, then target is gonna be 8889 8938 and 8981 MTC MTSL little bump and dump action definitely trading on the bearish note Key resistance is going to be 185, 63, 193.61. Uh, but first, it's going to be down here. So, first, it's going to be 157.43, and key support is going to be. One thirty right here. Although I like the uh, this one better. Yeah, I like this one better. One twenty thirty seven, one twenty nine forty three. So right now it's looking like it's just gonna retest and fail. So keep an eye on this zone here. If it can't recover um, a reclaim, then we're gonna retest this lower. Sorry, now you have to be careful. The reason I like this one better is because this pivot here, the purple one, have been um, acting as resistance for a long time. So I wonder if you, on the retest, is gonna hold and do something like this, you know, come and then give a nice impulse, an impulse to these higher levels here, which is gonna be about, what, 30, 40% profit from here to here, which is not bad. So that's what to watch. DLTR. Oh, finally broke above the yearly pivot. Now I just need to break this other one. Check a little bit down further. No. I'm going to mark this one here because he rejected the first. When you test that month, 
Oh, it, this is the current one. Okay. I don't need to mark that. So, tough one. We can say last line defense is going to be 111.50. 111.72, and key resistance is going to be, let's put it uh, 113.12, no, one or more, this is too small, 112, 112.86, 113.22, right there. A break above, above that, we're going to probably test the 115s. The main daily zone, the main daily level is at 112.50. Now ATRA. So ATRA is back testing this 1608, which is a very, very important level. We need to break and hold to be able to push. If we can't, then we're going to retest this 1531, most likely. So we can say key resistance, 1589, 1608. And our key support, let's do... Yeah, we're going to do, where is it, uh, 1516, 1538, actually let's do a little bit lower, yeah, 1510, 1538, it's very close from each other, but and the last line of defense, 1434, 1467. So if we gap down to here, watch for a reversal sign and then take partial and partial and then see if we can push more. Goldman Sachs. Is testing that very, very strong zone over right there, which I'm going to mark intraday. Oops. We're going to mark intraday. It's a little bit wide, $1.20. So we can split in two. Let's do. To twenty one twenty to twenty one oh nine to two to twenty one fifty, and then two twenty two twenty one to two twenty two fifty. There you go. Uh, the first resistance is gonna be here though. Needs to break to twenties first in order to go retest that. And the key support I would like to say two seventeen eighty four two eighteen right here. That's the key support. Last line of defense is gonna be two sixteen fifteen two sixteen sixty sixty one right there. So if it dips there, it may be interesting if we can hold to get a deep buy right here so set your alerts and see if we can get there um, cmg so this was what i was talking about about cmg uh, the yearly pivot a4231 was the level we have been we were watching for quite some, uh, a few days there. And 
Every time it pushed, it couldn't hold above it. Even here, when it had a crazy push, it went back down and couldn't hold it. So that was the same case scenario we are talking about the other stock to watch for the yearly pivot. Now, CMG, I really want to CMG at 70, 70s, maybe 64. So the ideal plan would be short into this strong cluster, 789.69, and see if we can get uh, a push to these low levels, lower levels here that we want it. You can split it. 764 22 766 61 uh the 77 82 and the 77 584 777 23 so all in the truth is that this all this here is going to be the key the key zone but uh we want to split because it's a very very big zone so we're going to be watch for this if we can get there. Now, if we break above it, 808 is going to be the next major resistance. So there's a lot of range to the upside and a lot of range to the downside. Uh, AIMT. So this is that stock that Dave has been talking about for months and I believe a lot of people are swinging this in the chat room. Uh, we had that uh, news after hours on the approval. So this is the thing. We are gapping up right to that yearly pivot, guys. Right to big orange. So that's gonna be a little bit concerning. Let me mark that so we know it is there tomorrow. 29.10. right there. So that's our little but very strong zone right there. Twenty nine oh three, twenty nine ten. That's gonna be the key resistance. If we can break above that, we're gonna retest uh, twenty nine fifty three, and then twenty nine eighty four, twenty nine ninety three. So most likely thirty, right? And after that, we have thirty one twenty five. If we can't break this, uh, we need to hold dips to here. 2844, 2850. And let's see if we can find other important levels. We have here, but I need a purple. Let's go back to Roku. Right here. And we have have another level that I want to mark, which is this one here. So this is going to be our last line of defense in case we dip that low, which is we can have, but we have been seeing a lot those sell into approvals. But let's hope it doesn't happen. 2792 is a very strong support. And 
and this one. So let's see what we have. Key resistance, key support. We can call this maybe last line of defense. And then we have those lower levels. So it's going to be interesting tomorrow to see how this is going to keep moving. AMRN. Still struggling against this zone. At least it broke it above this time. So we need, we are trying to reclaim it try to reclaim so we need to hold above it maybe this was just a bull flag like something like this and uh, we push above it so the key zone is gonna be 1674 1790 is it 1790 oh gosh Let's do it again. 1674, 1696, 1719. And you can say key support is going to be right here, 1641, 1650. And last line of defense is going to be 1578, 1592. Above it, uh, we have uh, many clusters, 1740s, uh, 18, 1781, 1787, 18. You have the 50 moving, daily moving average at 1750 as well. Then you have the 200 at 776, which is confirming that this is gonna be a rough area right here. And many, uh, many types of traders are gonna be watching these zones. Uh, each one of them for their own reason, but still. So that's what to watch. ADVM had that crazy push up and then a crazy sell off. It bounced off the big orange at 479. Uh, the key resistance is going to be. I'm zooming a little bit. Okay, here we go. Um, man, just because I left the IMR in. So I want to mark this 479. Four seventy nine. Boom. So our uh, uh, the key zone to watch first is going to be this five sixty four, uh, five seventy eight. It needs to break and hold for another push. Uh, first retest at six sixty nine ish. If we can't hold, we're most likely going to retest the early pivot, and this is going to be our key support zone right here. 479, 522. So above it, 670, then we have uh, 769, 777. Below this, we have 390, three, 390 and four, and 302. So 390 and four is gonna be the, you can say the last line of defense. Cat.
Cass is retesting this, is trying to break this, uh, this uh, 134, which is a previous pivot. We have a zone at 134.8, 134.83. Is a strong clusters in getting two strong clusters after a very strong push. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a pullback. Uh, the, 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 the support is going to be 132.83, 132.27. Last line of defense is going to be 130.32, 130.91. Look how much this is very rough right here. So let's see if we can get a pullback to minimize the risk to go long on this. MNK trying below the daily pivot. Uh, so that's going to be key, key resistance. 330. 331, key support, 305, 308. No, actually 306, 308. This is gonna be key support. So uh, if, you, if you are long, just make sure Ugh, to save us uh, to, to take partials. Hopefully, you did take partials on this push to the quarterly pivot. Um, it couldn't break it, so it may be down trending. It really needs to hold above this tree level, this tree, lower tree levels, to be able to retest. So, if you decide to go long on a reversal setup here, to make sure to take a partial at 330. And then at 360 and see if we can get more. OSTK. So it pushed through, couldn't hold, and now it's back testing this very strong, important zone. So we can say key support is going to be 2394, 2421. And the key resistance is going to be 2635, 2644, and then 2685, 2732. Right there. And this cluster here. So much stuff going on. So if you decide to go long, make sure to take a, brush, a partial when it approaches these levels here. Uh, only three more, guys. Netflix. So Netflix couldn't hold above Big Orange. It tried one, one, two, three, multiple times. Um, one second, guys. Uh, so it tried one, two, three, four. I can even count how many times it tried to break above and, and hold above this uh, big orange at 295.43. So our key support zone is going to be 292.79, 293.60. And our key resistance is going to, going to still be that big orange and against the Friday's high, so 295.43, 296.62. If we can't hold this, most likely going to retest this 289.41, 290.50 zone. Let me see. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, so we have a zone here. Let me mark it real quick. So we have only three more to go. Uh, 
right there. So let's extend this. Uh, 289.41 to 90.91. And below that, then it's going to be more, there's going to be a bigger range. 284.64.284 is going to be the next key zone. We have a small speed bump at 296.40. Uh, once we break this and hold, we have 298.20 and the 300, 3288 and 303.18, which is going to be rough. This is going to be rough right here if we get there. Let's check square. Oh, it's square, Chris. Just couldn't do it. If you guys were in the chat, I have been talking about this 63.97 for how, what, maybe two weeks, three weeks. Every time the 6397, every time he pushed, he couldn't break. Couldn't even, this here couldn't even push through. Got there and just melt down. Uh, we bounced off this zone here. It was a very impulsive move from here. So now it really needs to reclaim this 5842. So the key zone, key uh, resistance zone, First is going to be 5842, 5898, then 5967, 6023. So there's a lot of overhead. Uh, if we can't, if you manage not to hold this, we are going to be looking maybe to a retest of this 54, 51, uh, 51. Which level is that? 5158, 5214, right there. Uh, we've a uh, uh, speed bump in between, it's a monthly pivot at 5366. So let's check the four hour on that real quick. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Uh, the 5967, 59, uh, 60, 30, 23 is going to be a rough zone. Right here. If you extend, you can see how important that level was, that zone was before. So that's what to keep an eye on square. Congratulations if you took that uh, short from the 6397 pivot setup. I hope you took some partials at this point. But uh, let's check Alta. So Alta has been hanging around this pivot zone right here. This guy can see. Right there. Let's try to reclaim this to 2681. So we can say our key, key zone is gonna be 260. We can even include this one here, 266. 78 to 77, 16, right here. If we can break and hold, most likely you're gonna retest this to 28, 72, which is gonna be uh, the key resistance. That's gonna be uh, like a upside line in the sand. So if we break and hold above that, we can see, a, uh, we may see a very impulsive move and short squeeze on this. If you decide to take a reverse over here, just make sure to have stop loss right below it. In case we go lower than this, we don't hold the bag unnecessarily. Below this 226.81, we have 223.26, 221.27, and a 220. 
Now I want to check real quick shop. I think I made a mistake on that. No, it was right. I don't know why I thought I did something wrong, but I'm glad it worked out. Okay, so I believe that's it. I think we ran through everything. Let's check the futures one more time just to see where we are standing. Let's put over here. Ah, you know, this, wasn't this what we talked about? It couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Now it needs to hold this 29.86. If we can't hold, then we're going to have a speed bump at 81.58, and then we're going to retest that key, key zone, 29.69.25, 29.73.67, and the top, which is the strongest, at 29.76.76. So uh, that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and i see you tomorrow for pre-market trading at 7 a.m. EST. Take care.